a career in tech sales versus a career as a real estate agent. Sheesh, this is going to be a tough one. What's good, family? I'm Martez Kelly, the part-time entrepreneur, and my goal with this channel is actually help 100 young black men build better futures using part-time hours. Now, with that being said, my full-time job is in tech sales. My part-time job is as a real estate agent. So we're going to talk about both of these worlds and uh, which career path should you choose? And you might be shocked at my answer in the end. <laughs> now, I've been in tech sales for a full year now. But with all the recent changes in real estate, a lot of people are looking for a way out and just saying, no bueno, I don't want to build a career in real estate anymore. And this is an outlet that uh, I don't see many videos on, but because I work in tech sales and I have a part time real estate business, I feel like I'm qualified enough to actually bring up the differences in these careers and also uh, offer some advice for people who are either in tech sales and want to be in real estate or people who are in real estate and just looking for an outlet. And uh, hopefully this advice goes over well for you. So just to give you guys somewhat of a layout, we'll jump into some of the pros, some of the cons of both of these fields. And then I'll also just do a blank comparison of them both comparing things like salary, startup costs, growth opportunity and time commitment to them both. And uh, I, I want to make this disclaimer. Now, I am comparing averages like I did my research and I'm comparing averages. So I, whoever you are who are considering making a comment once I get to the salary parts, like if you are making a whole lot more, I, listen, it's an average. If you're making a whole lot less, don't don't get mad at me. It's just the average. Like There's two major differences between the two. But let's go ahead and start with salary. So this is what you can actually expect as a salary and uh, tech sales starting uh, 50 grand to about 80 grand with me working in uh, in tech tech sales I can confirm that that makes a lot of sense now as a real estate agent the ex, ex the average salary for you to expect anywhere from 30,000 to 50,000 a year like I said this is the part where it's like hey I made a whole lot more than that in my first year right I know you did but this is the average. The startup cost. Whew. For tech sales, it's anywhere from, or it should be anywhere from zero to 300 bucks. If you're considering getting into tech sales, I do have two course options linked in the description box down below, and you do get a discount for using my code. The other real estate agent, the startup cost for that, you're looking at anywhere from fifteen hundred bucks to five thousand dollars to get started, and uh, I do got some codes as well to uh, cut that price down. Linked in the description box down below as well. Now, when it comes to growth opportunities, I would give a huge thumbs up to uh, real estate, but it depends on the person. You may give a huge thumbs up to tech sales and the reason is tech sales is a career you can build your path whether you're a great employee or a bad you know like it depends on the numbers you build your own path you may have to go through jump around from one company to the other to get a better opportunity but whatever it is you actually determine your path it's, it's a career when it comes to real estate you are the business owner so guess what the career growth is unlimited it just depends on you now it there are ups and downs to both sides now when it comes to the real estate business side you may be comfortable where you are so i don't need to grow anymore and that may be the downfall when it comes to a career you don't have that luxury to get comfortable especially in a tech sales role because you have quota and if you miss a couple too many or too many months of missing quota you may be relying heavily on your real estate business. Just being honest. Now, when it comes to time commitment with a tech sales role, even though they say nine to five, most of these roles are salary. So I do find myself from time to time working a lot longer on some days. And some days I find myself working a lot shorter. So it just depends on one, your work ethic, your workload, 
and how are you actually accomplishing things? And when it comes to your real estate business, whew, I, the, I wrote down at minimum, if you're actually really out doing stuff, you probably can go less than 20 hours, but I'll say you'll probably commit about 20 hours a week to your real estate business. And this can actually go up as high as some people may be spending anywhere from 40 to 60 hours a week in their real estate business. Now, granted, these are the people who are not making 50 grand a year or 30 grand a year. I can guarantee you that they're not working 60 hours a week making 30 grand. But the time commitment, there, there are variables there, but it goes to the thing that we actually spoke about before. One is a business and one is actually a career or career. Yeah, let's move. Now to the reason why most of you guys are here in the first place. Which career should you choose? I would choose both. Let's be honest. A career in tech sales is, in most situations, a completely full remote role. Like I said, days you will be working anywhere from nine to five, worst case scenario, you have to do a little bit longer. But some situations you are really judged on the task being complete as opposed to how much time you're actually working. So I feel like you can comfortably do them both. So with the real estate business, with taking a few of the advice from all these other part-time real estate advice videos, like you can actually dominate the game, setting up systems that continue to work, leveraging that 50 to 80 grand a year income that you're getting from your full-time job and you can make an extra 30 or 40 grand a year now like i said with those averages like i said this is just a career in tech sales like no promotion at all you're looking at 50 to 80 grand and then your real estate business you're looking at 20 to 50 grand depending on your market and different things like Imagine locking in that 80 grand, then getting another 40 grand from your real estate business. Like you really in a good position. You could use your real estate business as just whatever money that makes. I actually buy investment properties with, or you could say, you know what? I'll live off my real estate business income and I'll invest all of my personal income. Like you really open up that door. So I would say do both. But I'm really interested in what you guys actually would consider doing. Like, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you choose a career in tech sales or real estate? Or would you be like me? Go with both. But with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys for tuning into this video. I really hope you like it. I actually wanted to dive more into my full-time job. But with that being said, I really do appreciate you guys for tuning in. With much love. Much love. Peace.